Connect Forth Special. Hello everyone, welcome to Connect Forth. My name is Nastasia Berra, the Deputy Program Controller of Connect Forth Radio. And on this special episode, we are joined in the studio by Principal of Forth Valley College, Dr. Ken Thompson. We'll be chatting to Ken to find out more about the man behind the job and asking him all your pressing questions that were sent to us through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and email. So, you've all probably heard of Desert Island Discs, you know, trapped in an island with eight songs, a book and a luxury item. Well, we're not doing that today because a certain major broadcaster might be a little upset with us. So instead, we'll be playing Stranded. You can only bring five things with you. A song, an album, a film, a book, and a luxury item. So what would be your single song that you could bring to this island? Um, so my single song would be, and thank you for prompting me with this well in advance so I can think about it, Hi- um, Highland Cathedral. Now Highland Cathedral, I'll tell you why that. Do you want me to tell you why? Yes. <laughs> so why Highland Cathedral is, um, I hadn't really heard of that tune um, up until about 10 years ago. Um, and we had a graduation at Stirling Castle, the first time we had a graduation at Stirling Castle. So for us, it was really grand. Now, that's where we go regularly. The first time we had that, the tune that was playing us out from the balcony was guys in pi- uh, playing the pipes and a brass a trumpet, and it was Highland Cathedral, and that was the first time I'd really heard it as we were leaving the building, and I thought, that's, that's fantastic. That was just tear-jerking, passionate, really went for you. So if, I, if there was a tune I was going to take with me, it would be Highland Cathedral, but it would be the recording from that graduation. Okay, I think it's always good to choose a song that's related to good yeah. memories. So what album would you choose then? The album, well, um, see, when I was a student, it's a long time ago, there was t- there was an album that everybody had, and I had it as well, and I, and I still go back to it now, and that's uh, Fleetwood Mac Rumours really like that one and the fact that one of the tunes is the theme music for the Formula One uh, you know I, I, I like that one but I'm a kind of closet yellow fan and there is uh, um, Electric Life Orchestra uh, and there is the Greatest Hits album that has got a picture of a spacecraft on the front four um, albums in there and um, that's the one I would have with me I think I would have chosen a Greatest Hits one as well yeah. it's a cheat answer <laughs> yes uh, what film I can't you? remember what the, all the other. I had I had them all. In fact, it was the very first time I had a green vinyl. Well, let's just go back a bit. Green vinyl, uh, and I'm sure if I still could find that in my attic, it'd be worth a few quid. But that was a, that was an uh, ELO album as well. And I can't remember which one it was. But let's go for the greatest hits. All right. What film would you choose? Oh, uh, that's an easy one, um, because my wife uh, just thinks I'm nuts, but my kids love it as well. Uh, Independence Day. Now, I watch a lot of films, and I would call my, my... I would say I was pretty eclectic in the types of films that I would watch. Um, so I've seen a whole range of things from Shakespeare right through to science I like science fiction. I do like science fiction. But the first time I saw Independence Day with Will Smith and the um, the crafts coming over the various cities, I thought it was wow. Now, they try to repeat it many a time, and Independence 2 is probably one of the worst films ever. Uh, we went along there, myself and my son, to watch that and came away thinking, rubbish. Nothing like the first one. But, yeah, if I was to take the film, that's my Isn't that's it always film. the sequel terrible? The to sequel the to Temple. So unless, unless Paddington, which I'm still to see, but apparently that's very good. Oh, it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what book would you bring? Well, that's an, uh, now, um, I, I, I read this on the screen just before I came in. And book I know which book it was, but I couldn't remember what it was called. I could tell you the story. Um, and um, spoiler alert pardon spoiler alert <laughs> spoiler alert yes yes I'll not tell you the story then but uh, it was by Sigmund Freud no it wasn't it was by Sebastian Freud and it was Birdsong and if you've ever not if you've come across Birdsong um, it's a story in the First World War and uh, I um, like to read I don't read a lot but I'll have a read every night before I go to my bed so I've got books my kids have got iPhones I've got a book and I'll only read about 10 pages that's all I do just to kind of wind me down Um this book I picked out, um, it was recommended to me. The first 50 pages, it's about a story of a young man in, in, Fran- in, in France, in Paris. Um, and then it goes into his story in the First World War and the horror and also the camaraderie and actually what happened. And I realised at that point I knew nothing about the First World War. I knew about the Second World War quite a lot. My dad was right into that sort of thing. And I knew quite a lot of what had happened. But the first, 
I didn't know anything about it. And as a consequence of that, I read quite a bit around the, su- the, the subject area. But that book, if I was recommending a book to my kids or to anybody else, Birdsong, is a really, really good novel. Good to know. Uh, and finally, your luxury item. My luxury. Now, how would define luxury item for me? Because I thought about what item would I take. So I've got that in my head, but it's not luxury. So what? What? I would assume anything that isn't what we've mentioned would be a luxury item. Okay. All right. So, so cricket ball. Okay. So it's tiny, but it's a cricket ball. You see, I'm a cricketer. Um, um, I've played cricket every season uh, since I was. 15, 14, see, in, in senior cricket. So this is at adult level. Uh, so since I was 14. So this will be my 43rd consecutive season. And I play for um, Lynn Lithgow, which used to be West Lothian. But I've played in England and I've played counties and I've played. So I really love cricket. I've been watching it just recently, the uh, test match last night. Dreadful outcome. And it's one of the ones that um, England is UK and British Isles, uh, and a bit of Ireland. So when you see the players that are playing for it, it's a Scottish team, it's a Welsh team, it's a Irish team, so it's an English team. So although it's England, it is a UK team, so actually, in a way, I've no problem. I'm very supportive of, of, of that. So as a, as a luxury item, I'd take a, a, a cricket ball, and if I was allowed, I'd take a bat. And I could just tap, 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 and smack it against the wall, and just practice the strokes until I got rescued. You can always make a bat. The other thing I would take is is the biggest, gigantic as box of matches, because the last thing I want to try and do is try and make fire. So I've seen the um, Bear Grylls Island, and the first thing they try and do is make fire. Now, if they give them a box of matches, that. And the other thing I would take, going back to books, sorry, I'm just flowing now, is I'd, <laughs> I'd take a book, and I, I don't understand how the survivors, the book on the Bear Grylls book uh, program on uh, uh, when they're on the island. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So uh, the first thing they're told is, is, you know, make a bed, and some of them don't, and then uh, make a fire, and I want my matches. And then what I would like is having the encyclopedia of what I can eat on, a, on an island. Where can I get the, the uh, roots that I can dig up? Um, where do I get, what insects can I eat? How do I, because ca- they all go catching fish, and they don't catch fish, and they just get dead thin. I would like to know what plants I could eat. So if I was going on that program, I'd have read that book up beforehand. So there you are. My novel is is the, uh, the bird song, but my encyclopedia, my my factual book would be how to survive on a on an island. I think that's the most clever option. There you go. <laughs> so there you have it. Stranded on a desert island with five fo- home comforts and a bit of insight into the man behind the principle. Well, the job. <laughs> Stay tuned to Connect Fourth Radio and TV for part two. Ask Ken. But for now, Dr. Ken Thompson, Principal of Fourth Valley College, thank you for joining us at Connect Fourth. Thank you very much indeed.